Hello, and thanks for tuning in. On the menu today is crab fried rice with a chili fish sauce. Fried rice is a very well known dish, however we found that most recipes often result in rice that is too greasy and oily. So in this recipe we're not adding any sauces to the rice as we want it to stay light and fluffy and not wet and oily. The chili fish sauce which we'll make in this recipe will provide extra heat and flavour without ruining the texture of the rice. On screen now are the ingredients, check out our blog post for full details on these ingredients. We have used cooked crab meat that is fresh and not canned as we don't want any additives ruining the flavour or making it too salty. We also recommend using steamed jasmine rice that has been allowed to cool at room temperature for about one day. This makes this recipe a delicious way to use up any leftover rice that you may have. So first heat 2 tablespoons of cooking oil in a wok on a high heat. Once the wok is hot add half a cup of chopped carrots and stir fry them for about 30 seconds just to soften them up. Now add two eggs and briefly mix them with the carrots and then add two cups of steamed jasmine rice which we've allowed to cool. And then break the rice up and mix it in so that the rice sticks to the egg. Then add 200 grams of cooked fresh crab meat. Stir fry everything for three minutes and then add one teaspoon of salt and mix in and fry for another two minutes. Finally, turn off the heat, add a quarter cup of chopped spring onions, stir in thoroughly, and then the rice is ready. It should have a very light and fluffy texture like this. We served ours with fresh lime, tomatoes, and spring onion on the side. So now we need to make the chili fish sauce, so add two tablespoons of fish sauce, one tablespoon of lime juice, three chopped garlic cloves, and six chopped red bird eye chilies to a condiment pot, and stir thoroughly. And you're now ready to eat, so just spoon some of the chili fish sauce onto the rice to add heat and flavour if you wish, and enjoy the meal. So we hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you would like to see more Thai and Asian inspired recipes, do subscribe to our channel. We have lots more recipes on the way, so thanks once again for watching, and we hope to see you again on the next video.